What's up guys and welcome to another video from me, the Skyrender. And as you see, the screen is black. And this is actually my 315 battle upload. So I wanted to uh, make it something a bit special and a bit more exciting. And I was looking a few a week back for Ori matches. And uh, a Twitter account did respond to me and say that she was not accustomed to the tier. Uh, but I say bring whatever you want, I just want to test my team. And this is the team preview. Yep. Though you know, you know, I I went in with a positive um, thinking. You know, obviously um, this could be a really really nasty <laughs> situation. <laughs> that was actually really really scary. I had no idea what to do going in, and uh, I basically thought just just let's let's just have fun with it. Um, it's not all that serious anyway. And uh, this Twitter account, Bridget, she is a female. Uh, if you want to be credited, uh, make sure to post it down below, you know, I get that everybody doesn't know the tears, and as I said, this was actually really, a really fun game, therefore I actually go to upload it, but man, you know, if any uh, any Pokemon of these aren't invested in the right way, then you know, we are not gonna make this one, uh, we got Mega Grey Quaza, we got Mega Kyogre, Primal Kyogre, uh, Blaze again, right, you know, oh, I don't remember these guys' name. Dark, I believe, Sekrom, Elvarios, and myself using the Ori team I've been using quite some time. So, you know what, guys? With uh, these thoughts in mind, and that is nothing at all, let's do it! So, I'm gonna start with Braviary, because Braviary is my Scarf Mon, you know, I can scout things with that. I thought that, you know, that could be an idea. I really didn't know what to do. Now, obviously, this is a very favorable switch in. Uh, I'm going to go for a U-turn, and this is gonna do a fair amount of damage, one of those, again, and you know, that that things out, but at the same time, I also knew that uh, I don't really have so many Pokemon that can come into that, so shiz yes, my, um, sc my specs, um, Axelgar was my best bet. Now he's gonna go for Draco, and um, her Draco will do very, very, very much. Now obviously she doesn't kill me, I think I'm fully invested one wood, so I'm just gonna pretty much spam Bug Bus, hurt something, and this piece comes, yeah. You know, I'll never face this one ever, so I had no idea what to prepare for, but like I said, I'm just gonna go for Bug Bus, I'm just going to hurt something. I can't switch out on anything because any switching is dying, like every Pokemon I bring in is gonna die, and the Bug Bus, you know, this is specs and all, it is not doing, it is not hurting her. Now, luckily, uh, the second hit is a much, much higher roll, and Origin Pulse, of course, will destroy me. I mean, I got nothing on that. I was like, yeah, book part gone. So anyway, I can actually bring back Braviary, and now I'm, I am in a range where I can actually take it out. So I do decide to go for Braver, thinking that it hits neutral on her team. Um, and of course, uh, she's gonna bring Darkrai, or actually not, of course. What the hell? Uh, luckily, though, uh, this is a 2 with KO, but um, I'm not gonna lie, Darkrai is really, really fast. Had I actually went for U-turn, I might have put myself in a worse position than I really were in. So we actually take out the dark ride from here, which is awesome. Uh, obviously, that was exactly what we were going for, and dark ride is gone. Now, she's still got a lot of power, you know, she's still got Mega Rayquaza, she's still got Blaze again, you know. But I need to save my Braviary for Blaze again in case of it is a speed reset, so at least I have one chance of actually outspeeding it. Now, obviously, I will not stay into this beast, I just, I won't. Now, I do believe Desultroya can deal with this Rayquaza somewhat, because Rayquaza usually have extreme speed, have the Dragon Ascent Fly move, and, you know, filler moves, usually that could be a Draco or Outrage. So I knew that Rhyperior could correctly deal with this really well. There's the Delta Stream, that's really pleasant, and she's gonna go for Dragon Ascent, and you guys will see something incredible. I will soak this like a boss. I mean, sure, it's it's the Goku Smash, but that is not moving my HP bar. HP bar. So I can retaliate with a Rock Blast. I thought that that would be my smartest move as of here. Actually, with leftovers, I'm actually pretty much back on track. For I couldn't go for an EQ obviously because um, Earthquake would really, really do nothing here. So my safest bet was actually going for Rock Blast. Or was I ballsy? Was I ballsy? That's the bigger question. And no, I'm not. <laughs> of course, I didn't want to risk that. So anyway, I thought that Sekrom was a weird switch in because Sekrom is really... It can't really do a whole lot to me. 
Um, no, if, at least if it doesn't have any weird eyes in the power, that's about it. So I did stay in, and she's gonna go for Fusion Bolt. Not recognizing that I'm a ground type, and boom! There's Dynamite from the Death Troya. That's Sekrom out of the way. So, as you guys might have getting as of right now, my opponent is not that experienced, and obviously we are gonna get some major momentum out of that, and she's gonna bring back her best female. And I'm not gonna stay in, in case pack surf, you know, that's a thing after all, I don't wanna risk it, so I'm gonna go to Rygar. And she's gonna go directly for Dragon Pulse, which is obviously not gonna do a whole lot. Then again, you know, I'm a hit melee, so it's it does fair damage. And I do practice Sucker Punch, so boom! It's gone. So, we're actually doing somewhat fine as of right now. I'm, I'm feeling gutsy, I'm feeling I'm doing well. And um, there's nothing really touching us now. Torchy is gonna come in. And being that I can't really risk it, I'm gonna try to go for a high jump kick. And, yeah. Because the thing is, if she were a protect set, uh, then high jump kick would have killed me. Uh, she is actually not speed boost, but had that been the case, um, high jump kick would have killed me, which means I can bring Braviary before she gets two speed boosts up. That was what I was going for, luckily that did not come to fruition, and that's the place again gone. Yeah, Uber's my ass. Then again, it is a speed boost with it that it's Uber, not the place. So, yeah, yeah, we, we, we are doing this, we really, really are. So she's gonna bring Kyogre back again, and her last two Pokemon are actually, I do believe, uh, Kyogre and uh, Mega Beastly Mon, that is Rayquaza. So, this game is definitely not over yet, it is definitely not over yet. Or, it kinda is, but... <laughs> so obviously, you know, my recoil is definitely taking a toll on me, Rayquaza is her last Mon of the game, and uh, luckily we are faster due to the um, Scarf and we can force her down the road, the road of death, uh, which of course Braver will do. Ra Braver is obviously my strongest move, there is no reason for me to go on anything else, plus I'm Scarfed. And I do so much damage, so that definitely shows me that Herming a Rayquaza is not uh, invested. Hell, I don't think any of her Pokemon were, but yeah, that's definitely the killing Griffith. And you know, that's, that's unfortunate. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is, and Griffith's gonna fall, it's completely fine. And I'm gonna bring Basil here, thinking I can go for a Sucker Punch, uh, just take her out, win the game, right? Uh, she goes for Extreme Speed, which I thought was a really nice play. Now, I don't know if she recognized that that was a good play, but due to that I decided to go for an Outrage instead of finish the game off, and now she goes for Ringo Pulse, and that of course kills my Basil. So I was like, okay. <laughs> that was, um... That was unfortunate, but you know, I shouldn't really worry because Lee Dion has just about enough strength left in him to actually take this Draco and of course retaliate with an Ice Beam. Now, even with the Delta Stream um, weakening the move of a um, super effective move against Flying, it is, you know, it, it's still an effective hit on a Dragon and it's still gonna go down. So that is GG! So it actually turns out to be, uh, I do believe, a trio in uh, my favor. And I have to say, that was a really, really weird game. I have too few of those, I really do. So right, I really want to leave you guys with a bit of an update. Uh, tomorrow, of course on Thursday, I will upload my pregame again in the TBU. Uh, you know, a pregame plan against uh, the LA Deluxe Ray and on Friday. That battle will be uploaded together with everybody else's matches, which I do encourage you guys to check out. And also on Friday, uh, I will stream Wi-Fi battles. I will not do that on Saturday, but I'm going to do it on Friday. So if you guys want to check me out and battle me, that's the way to go. If you want uh, more of a specific time, make sure to follow me on Twitter and you know all that jazz, really. Uh, because I, I can tend to uh, adjust myself in the last seconds. So anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching, of course. Make sure to leave a like and sub if you're new to the channel. And remember, the sky is limit, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.